And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a new donation deck. We got Katarina Shen. That's what the two D stand for over here. It means it's a donation deck. We got two donation decks to play here. So these were viewer submitted decks. So this was a, um, a deck from a viewer that has been playing this one and really enjoying it. And we're going to try it ourselves. And we've been talking about how Katarina is a pretty underrated card. So let's play some Katarina. They also have another deck which is going to be Katarina Lux that we'll play in the coming days as well. But with this one, we're, we're pairing up Katarina and Shen. So we got a whole lot of spells. So we got uh, almost half and half units and spells. Um, and, you know, like we're, we're basically playing just some... Uh, some some pretty decent like tempo cards kind of around and uh, you know like basically just trying to um, you know not not it's like we're not like super aggro like we don't we're not trying to just like uh, you know get get really ahead real fast but we're just trying to kind of uh, set up a pretty decent board state where in the late game we can have our Katarinas take over you know, that's, that's really what we're doing, is having our late game uh, Katarina's uh, take over. Because this card, like, it's kind of, um, there's some deception with this card. You know, you may look at it and say, oh, three mana, three, two, quick attack. That's good to play on turn three and attack with it. But a lot of times it's not, because once it once you strike with Katarina, um, you, you put it back into your hand... And that means that you just spent three mana on turn three, not developing the board at all, and just putting um, putting a, a cat, basically just leveling up your Katarina, you know, like uh, not really doing anything else. So this is really a card that you want to have in the late game. And that's why like our, our top end doesn't really look like much. We have a couple battering rams and Stand United is just a really good trick, but we don't really have much top end. But that's what these Katarinas are. They really are our uh, six, seven, eight, nine mana card. That we are um, that we're going to be using because then you can keep on replaying Katarina and use your you know use this as a mana sink at that point. All right, so let's give this a try. This will be first time uh, trying that out. Uh, Katarina Shen, oh, brand new. So here we go. Um, I guess, yeah, I guess Thorwolf can kind of answer this one, but yeah, if you don't have a third Katarina, what, what can you fill in for her? Okay, so yeah, it's probably a Zed. Okay, yeah, so that's a good, that's a good one to do, a Zed. Ooh, the deep deck, whenever you're, whenever you're kind of just having a, a late game deck like that, like with Katarinas and stuff, you play against deep. Deep is really good at winning late games. So this is going to be a tough matchup. Um, I think we just mulligan all three of these. Keep our Shadow Assassin. I don't play like a whole lot of removal where we need those tricks. And like we talked about, we have a lot of spells in this deck. So you can mulligan spells and you'll draw more. Um, so I think it's it's pretty safe to mulligan spells because there are so many. But we also do a good job of using our spell mana then because of that. So yeah, it's gonna be a difficult matchup and especially how they have dread drag dredgers on turn one. That's not something I like seeing. I guess I trade Jaw Hunters for Crimson Disciple. It's going to be kind of difficult for me not to. I will tend this garden. It's an important card to Culling Strike. 
I can probably play Shen first, though. This is a really good Culling Strike target. have to do that during combat before they can untap. Um, I do have another Shen in hand. I can just let it happen and play my new Shen next turn. I guess... Uh, yeah, I could, just, could also use Transfusion to save. Because this thing has a barrier anyway. I kind of want to just play my new Shen next turn. I don't really think I need two Stand Uniteds. No, let's... Okay, we're going to use... All right, final answer. We're going to use Transfusion. I'm going to keep the Shen in play, especially how it's already seen one thing gain barrier towards leveling up. I could see a leveled up Shen really helping us out. And, you know, Stand United's a good card, so... We'll just keep this in play like, as is. Okay. Go bounce or twin disciplines. Go bounce. See if they want to spend more time playing Devourer. Yeah, that's annoying. That was definitely the worst card for me to see. It's annoying. Yeah, that's that slows us down so much. We got leveled up Shen. There is no dispute. I think they have another devourer. Yeah. I like trying to get this off the battlefield. This ravenous flock looks kind of silly. But I guess... I guess I can concussive palm then ravenous flock and kill it.
<clears throat> this call is unfortunate. And again, nice. That's that's twice they had like that spell, like after they tapped out of like the regular mana, they had the spell mana that's, that slowed us down quite a bit with the vile feast once and then the miss call. Both of those really slowed us down. Why Katarina instead of Zed? This because yeah, this deck isn't just all aggro. Um, the Katarina is like our late game card. Like it's like how we have. As you can kind of see here, like we have, we can have an abundance of mana in the late game with this card. It's more of like a, a controlish kind of deck than an than an aggro deck. But anyway, this is this was not a deck I put together though. This was a, a viewer deck to begin with. So we could do 13 damage to them with Stand United. The King Koo go where they are needed. Could do 15 with Transfusion. If only I had two more mana, I could do another Stand United. Shenna's definitely been really impressive in this game. Um, is Deep Monsters and Ash Sejuani counter? Or am I not good at playing against Deep Monsters? I think that... that I think the deep sea monster would have the would probably have the you um, with honor. Yeah, I mean they disconnected. I'm counting it as a win though. <clears throat> I think the deep sea monster would probably have the upper hand for that matchup. Like it's it's not gonna be like where they just I don't think it's like a hard counter where they win all the time. I think it's you know pretty close to 50-50, but I I, I think the deep deck would be a little ahead. Yeah, that that game really showed off Stand United for sure. Uh, Katarina says you want to eat. Now I'm gonna keep all these. Like the, you know, we have we have two units. The transfusion, you know, you need two units for the transfusion. The, the transfusion works really well with the Crimson Disciple. The Spirit's Refuge works well with the Green Glade Caretaker. This land is ours. Let me show you what I can do. Could go Whirling Death. No, I'll save Whirling Death. Is that all? Bleh.
All right, gonna stun. Yeah, we, we basically traded traded transfusion for uh, the frostbite card. Flash freeze. Caught in the cold. Okay. They spent a lot just dealing with that one mana card. That was just a one drop. That's messy. Let's see, it could concussive palm. And then I can attack in with. I go concussive palm, I can attack with the two three twos. No, it's just not worth it. It's better to get Blade Twirler and play first. Okay, that could be nice. There's like an, an atrocity. You're gonna have harsh winds. I'll be sad. They are playing harsh winds, that's sad. Ugh. Harsh winds is so good. Here's our chance. Speaking of very good, that's Shadow Assassin. Will no one listen? I will play my part. Shadow Assassin, also very good. Cards a problem. Think you're fast? Cute. Cause that will kill my three shadow assassins before they get to attack again. And presumably ooh, that's not bad. Presumably they just drew a Sejuani with Babbling Bjerg. Good ravenous flock. Can these shadow assassins finish it out? A bunch of two ones. We're praying. That's our that's our hope. Basically, just hope they don't have a frostbite spell, especially harsh winds. Regular frostbite spell, I could use twin discipline to get plus three, plus zero. And 
if it's like regular removal, we have deny. Okay, so do I want to use deny or spirit's refuge? Um, probably be better to save deny because of withering whale. So we'll use refuge. Helpful. Damage? No. Damage? No. Really not good. No, I've never played League of Legends. Up there in the mountains. No. Hey Angel, my my favorite deck of the season. Um, I don't know. I have I have a lot of decks that I like. The one that we've done the best with is the that spooky mage seeker deck we just uh, we just played. Um, Fourteen and one overall with that deck. Just burns a tough matchup though. When we lost to burn. After being a 14 0. Ride onward. So we're at seven. Wanna see these moves up close? So if they just drew another Sejuani with this babbling Bjerg putting in and just drawing another Sejuani, I lose. Yeah, I mean I, I can't I can't stop burst speed. I can't stop very much. I mean I can't stop burst speed. Deny doesn't stop Fury of the North. Seems like the new set, they really did add a bunch and bunch of burst speed, didn't they? Close game. Close game. They had they had what they needed. A couple of times there. Both harsh wins. Um I'm just just looking at Both harsh wins were really clutch. And the second one they needed, of course, otherwise the game was over. But just yeah, we just couldn't couldn't deny things. Can't deny harsh winds, can't deny um, that last card, Fury of the North. Everything's burst. Couldn't couldn't deny brittle steel. Everything a burst. Good close game, though. Good close game. Probably shouldn't keep two Shens. Katarina is not an early card. I'm going to mulligan Katarina. And I'll keep Shen Barrier. Oh, I can't wait. 
Okay. Hands turning out. Get you noticed right here. The problem with attacking and having them trade two damage each is misfortune. But I mean, I guess misfortune's like a problem either way. The good part about attacking and, and dealing damage is it does turn the hired gun to have one health, which is good for Katarina. Okay, no misfortune. So it is... Uh, it is really tempting to play Katarina, get the Blade's Edge, Blade's Edge the 2-1. That is quite tempting. But then the Katarina is just going to go back to my hand. And I don't love that. do this. I'm going to get the Blade's Edge to kill the 2-1. Their, their deck, like, basically nothing dies to... Like, Blade's Edge doesn't kill anything else. Don't stand in my way. Could just trade Katarina off and kill the Black Market Merchant. Me having a backup Katarina in hand. It's just an end. I don't want to cast Death Lotus. Not a card I want at all. I walk the space between worlds. If I don't make that block, then I get to attack with the Katarina and put the leveled up one back in my hand. Oh, this hurts. I find them unworthy. And you don't really need two leveled up Katarinas in your hand. Alright, so we know they have, what, three of my cards? Three of my cards, and they all cost one less. Guess that's the first one. Battle of batter battering rams. <laughs> I don't know if I've played no prey. No prey. a battering ram battle too often. We got some good tempo cards to kind of slow down their battering ram, though. Kill my Katarina. Katarina with Battering Ram is a good is a good combo. That's I mean that's just a great combo. 
Catering Ram. Uh, keep the spell mana. Yeah, just one damage. Let's do them. This could just be lethal. With Stand United, we can we can move the battering ram with Stand United. Uh, oh no, no, it won't. It won't. It'll level like Shen will level up, but it, you have to have a leveled up Shen and then give Barrier afterwards. So, I mean, I guess I could Stand United and Spirit's Refuge and then pump this up three and make this eleven. Or we can just go slow style, put Katarina back in our hand, get more attacks. There's no reason why this this butcher should not be blocking Shen at least. I, I don't understand why they wouldn't do that. Unless they're just giving up. I guess they're just giving up. Um, I'll just let this happen. No one gets in my way. I don't really want to react first. I, I play Stand United and then they play something. Because remember, they have two more of my cards that we don't know about. And so they could have grabbed, like, Will of Ionia from me. Um, Because so, they have two of my cards. From Pilfered Good. So yeah, I guess they they looks like they rage quit. Never. Yeah, that's what it looks like. gave up all right we're two and one and our one loss was super super close two and one with katarina shen everything as it should be okay like our like battering ram really won us that game for two reasons. Like one, our battering ram was really good, but two, them playing battering ram was actually awesome for us because they took the turn five off to cast battering ram, and we got to bounce it with will of Ionia, and then they took turn six to play battering ram again, and at that point it was an O12 blocker. So like it's it's like not it's not even that great of a blocker because it doesn't kill anything, um, <laughs> you know. And so then turn seven. They need to play like their misfortune first, and then we get to stun their battering ram, so it doesn't even get to attack again. And so, really, us uh, <laughs> them drawing that battering ram won us that game because <laughs> their battering ram was so bad. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, um, elusives. I feel like this is going to be a difficult matchup, but this looks like a good hand. Get to go turn to Blade Twirler and have some stun stuff along with it. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. No, Fuzzball, let go. Let go. Don't hang on. They'll never see us coming. If Fuzzball lets go, is the duo not elusive anymore? No. 
fast? Cute. Cute. No. Don't go straight to attacks. That's not what I wanted to see. Difficult 2 3 to beat <clears throat> duo into Zed. So if I play Shen, which I want to do, I don't get to do anything else. So, like, if I play Shen and then, like, let's say they have Jewel Protector, 5 mana 4 4, I'm kind of in trouble. So instead, I can go Sentry. Sentry on Duo. And still have Twin Disciplines available. Now who's got the upper hand? I'm gonna go on duo because I don't want them blocking with duo. Try to keep up. Uh, let's see. Attack, attack. Yeah. Try to keep up. What am I doing with you, caretaker? Elixir of Iron also? The Elixir of Iron there? Looking for this. Do I have another Elixir of Iron? Ah. Okay. So, right now, um, they really did not do very well with the Zed. <laughs> that was a, a really poor block. Um, I don't care that this thing stays alive because this thing's not gonna have elusive anymore even though they they could have the the two drop uh navori conspirator pick this back up and then replay it and that could be annoying i think i want to get rid of this lifesteal thing though i want to just trade here because that for sure will be elusive um if they do have conspirator that does give me time to go katarina um blade's edge they picked the wrong row. Let the blood check you in. Psst, act natural. I got you. I really hope that last card's not another elixir of iron. <laughs> They're not even attacking with the Green Glade duo. <laughs> what? I guess. Yeah, I guess they don't want to play into Death Lotus, I guess. I mean, it. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't get to kill it. I wanted to kill it. That would have been nice to be able to kill it too, but... Okay. Uh, Looks like we're going to be three and one. No one gets in my way. But it looks like at least. I dare you. GG.
I don't think they made the, the best decisions there. But. Okay. The Katarina gives more damage in front. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. That's a good call because of the the blade twirlers would have turned into seven power, and because the Katarina would recall immediately. That's true. I didn't really think about that, but you know, afterwards I saw how it bounced. You know, got back. I kind of forget about that with the blade twirler sometimes. So focused on the stun part of it. All right, we got a good three one. Let's see if we can get a 4-1, but at worst, we're going to get a 3-2 and get a 60% win rate, which is awesome. All right, spells. Mulligan. Get more spells. Okay, well, you got to get that one game out of the five where they just give you nothing to work with, right? Okay, now, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. You said you wanted a 50%. You're hoping we would win 50%. Well, we're guaranteed 60. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Yeah, don't let those fluffy Not tails fool you. Oh, it's on. That thing's gone. Pick on some of your own speed. Would have been just fine with the Katarina here, even though you usually don't want to play Katarina on turn three, like I talked about. Uh, with this hand, we got nothing else, so that would have been just fine with the Katarina. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting place. So this is just Elusives that's playing Sejuani at the top end. That's that's actually pretty awesome. That's probably, yeah, I mean, that's probably really worth it. Like, Sejuani is amazing. So that's probably worth it. I will play my part. Yeah, it seems like there's no rank rewards other than the icon. That's all... That's all I have noticed as well. Try to keep up. Hang on, oh gosh, they have two green glade duos. Okay, this is kind of over. <clears throat> Cards just don't do anything. You own what you take. Um, I got nine mana. So if I cast Will of Ionia, I have five left so i can go will of ionia plus a twin disciplines i can't save blade twirler oh yeah yeah no because then i have transfusion also so yeah i can okay never see us coming. yeah elusives with sejuani that's pretty smart All right, well, with that, I have to bounce Sejuani. Um, barrier lifesteal. No, that's just two. Let's just go Twin Disciplines. Yeah, Braum is, uh, Braum is definitely underpowered compared to the, the rest of the champions.
of weird bouncing that Omen Hawk right now because they don't get to block with the Omen Hawk now. Tavern Keeper. I don't really imagine Kyling Tavern Keeper is a good card in their deck, but uh, Green Glade Duo is certainly amazing. <laughs> they had a couple of those. Negative one. What, I should have just twin disciplined proactively? Yeah, or transfusion on the attack to make them block. Yeah, I mean, I, I could have. I could have. Um, I was honestly a little surprised that they were that willing to go to one, but I they you know I didn't know about the Kindly Tavern Keeper. Uh, you know if if uh, if I would have thought like I've, I have never really seen Kindly Tavern Keeper in a, in a burn deck. If I would have thought they would have had that, then yeah, that would have been a better play. But it's just it's pretty scary going to one against a deck with Katarina because of Blade's Edge. So I, I thought they were going to be doing some kind of blocking. And not go to one, but yeah, they had they had Tavern Keeper. Not something I expected. Um, no, that wasn't Kinku Elusives. That was like uh, Sejuani Elusives, um, which look good. Yeah, I, I think Sejuani is a, a. I mean, Sejuani is just an awesome card, so that makes a lot of sense to put that in the elusive deck because it also can just do a bunch of damage you can you can make like an elusive blocker vulnerable also and pull to the side with sejuani i think sejuani makes a lot of sense in that deck but anyway our deck looked pretty sweet you know we went three and two and both of those losses were really close we got our opponent down to one in both of those losses is that right or maybe we got him down to two in the other loss um so you know both of them were super close uh you know like the the first loss like they were dead if they didn't have like the harsh winds right like we were attacking for lethal i guess we only got them down to like four yeah because but they needed the harsh winds and they had that um and yeah that that second loss super super close and even though our hand was was pretty poor it was still that close um yeah yeah, so I definitely could have Twin Disciplined or Transfusion. It's just, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's necessarily a misplay not to, because I just wasn't, I was expecting some kind of block, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, it was pretty, pretty sweet. Like, Stand United looked awesome. Uh, Shen did its thing. Shadow Assassin's great. But then, you know, like Blade Twirler looked real good. Um you know, like being able to pump up Blade Twirler sometimes. Caretaker can get pumped up sometimes. We didn't really use it that too much. Ravenous Flock is kind of meh, but it, it had its moments. There was, there was a couple of moments the Ravenous Flock was good. I'd say like Concussive, I was really impressed, like Concussive Palm and Arachnoid Sentry, both of those um, overperformed. And they're both two ofs. I could see doing a little bit more with those. Both of those cards overperformed. Um... Transfusions maybe maybe a little underperform. Maybe you don't need three of this card. It seems like you have a lot of combat tricks with having three transfusions and two twin disciplines. Um, you know, just with like all the other spells too. I could definitely see just going down to two transfusions and then playing another Sentry or Concussive Balm. Uh, getting another one of those cards in here helps out your Blade Twirler, helps out your Ravenous Flock, and also just kind of helps your um, tempo game as well. But there we go. Uh, Katarina Shen. I'd have to say that that was a success. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Um, you know, leave those, also leave those comments. You got any, uh, any
any questions, concerns, comments, any of that kind of stuff, uh, throw them down there on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Some Katarina Shen, and I'll see you for the next video.